The British Royal Navy plans to deploy seven astute class nuclear attack submarines to replace its aging fleet of Cold War-era Trafalgar-class ships, with the new submarines being are among the most expensive combat ships ever launched with a cost of approximately $2.2 billion each depending on exchange rates. The last of the large 97-meter long ships are expected to be commissioned in 2027, 26 years after the first ship was laid down in 2001, with each displacing approximately 7,600 tons submerged deploying up to 126 torpedoes and cruise missiles. This firepower is approximately equivalent to three of Britain's Type 45-class destroyers, or 3.5 of its upcoming Type 26-class frigates, which is particularly considerably given the small size of the country's surface combat fleet. Amid widespread signs of poor reliability and underperformance in the major weapon systems developed for the Royal Navy, from the troubled Type 45-class destroyers to the Queen Elizabeth-class carriers and their F-35B stealth fighters, the submarine program appears to be one of the most successful by far and continues to provide Britain with a highly formidable offensive capability. Issues with cost overruns have nevertheless been considerable, with the first three ships of the class on average being 58% over budget and the fourth coming at a still significant 16% over budget. The astute class were developed with contributions of advice and expertise of General Dynamics through a U.S. Navy contract contract, and although the program has faced considerable cost overruns and delays these have generally been considerably less than those faced by most other warships programs in the country. A number of Western analysts have made bold claims regarding the capabilities of the astute class ships, including that they are the most capable nuclear attack submarines ever developed. Perhaps the most notable feature of the ships is their quietness, with 39,000 advanced anti-acoustic tiles ensuring a level of noise unprecedentedly low for a Western-built nuclear-powered ship and comparable to small diesel electronic class attack boats. The ship's nuclear reactor has a 25-year life and can be used to recycle air and water, which allows the boat to sail around the entire world without the need to surface. The ship can also allocate some space to Special Boat Service Special Forces units, much like the U.S. Navy uses Ohio-class ships to deploy SEALs for operations abroad. The astute class's Sonar 7026 system integrated passive active search and attack, has boat, intercept, flank and towed arrays, and is claimed by the producer to be the world's top sonar system. These can detect surface ships and submarines up to 5,555 kilometers away, providing a degree of situational awareness with few rivals, although these ranges are considerably shorter for stealth targets. Whether the submarines can detect targets at such ranges, when scanning in all directions, or only when focused on a specific area, remains uncertain. Alongside Tomahawk cruise missiles for land attack purposes, the ship's indigenous spearfish heavyweight torpedoes are relied on to hunt enemy submarines and surface ships. The torpedoes have been in service since 1992, and after a 17-year pause they resumed production in 2020 with approximately 500 having been built since production began in 1988. The weapons carry 300 kg warheads and have a respectable range of 54 km. Three astute class ships are currently in service, with a fourth undergoing sea trails and three more under construction. The ships face intense upcoming competition from rival designs fielded by competing producers of nuclear attack submarines, including the American Virginia class Block V, the Russian Yasin class and Laika class, and, perhaps most ambitious of all in its design the Chinese Type 95 class. The British Royal Navy has launched a new astute class nuclear attack submarine the HMS Audacious, which May left the Barrow and Furnace shipyards on April 7 on its maiden voyage to be received at Naval Base Clyde. Costing approximately $2 billion, the warship is one of the most expensive ever built by a European state and benefits from integration of a range of next-generation technologies, most notably 39,000 anti-acoustic tiles which make it extremely difficult to detect by reducing noise. The Audacious is one of seven astute class ships planned, the fourth to be completed, and makes use of a nuclear propulsion system providing an effectively unlimited range. With a crew of 98, astute class ships can operate at depths of up to 390 meters and travel at 32 kn speeds when fully submerged. The warships deploy two primary classes of weapon, the aging Tomahawk subsonic cruise missile and the slightly newer Spearfish torpedo. Both of these weapon systems are expected to be replaced during the ship's service life. The astute class ships are being commissioned to replace aging Trafalgar-class attack submarines, a design dating back to the early 1980s, of which three are currently in service.
The new submarine program has faced considerable cost overruns and delays, with the manufacturer BAE Systems and the British Ministry of Defense admitting that they have understated the technical challenges and costs of the program forcing the two parties to renegotiate the contract. The HMS Audacious is approximately 16% over budget, a considerable improvement on its three predecessors which were on average 58% over budget. HMS Anson is the fifth astute-class nuclear-powered fleet submarine of the Royal Navy. She will be the eighth vessel of the Royal Navy to bear the name, after Admiral George Anson. On 25 March 2010, BAE systems were given the go-ahead by the government to begin construction on boats 5 and 6, Anson and Agamemnon, being given a £300 million contract for the initial build of boat 5 and long-led procurement activities for boat 6. On 19 November 2015, a possible new contract worth £1.3 billion was signed for HMS Anson. She was officially named on 11 December 2020 and is projected to be launched in 2021. The 5th Astute class submarine has officially been named Anson in a ceremony at BAE Systems Submarine site in Barrow and Furness, Cumbria. In line with tradition, Anson was blessed by the Venerable Martin Go QHC, chaplain of the fleet and archdeacon for the Royal Navy, and then christened with a bottle of cider being smashed against her hull. The 97-meter-long, 7,400-ton submarine is due to be launched into the water in Barrow early next year, ahead of leaving for sea trials in 2022. Work is also well underway in Barrow on astute boats 6 and 7, as well as the first two boats in the Dreadnought class, which is the next generation of nuclear deterrent submarines. Work on both astute and Dreadnought has continued throughout this year, with major changes being implemented across its Barrow and satellite sites to enable employees to work safely and adhere to social distancing. It is for that reason that only a handful of people were able to witness the naming ceremony. BAE Systems Submarine Business employs approximately 10,000 people mainly in the northwest of England with many more in the supply chain. The business spends more than £1 billion per year with over 1,000 suppliers who support the Astute and Dreadnought programs, more than 85% of whom are based in the UK.